Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is 2E0IQJ. Thanks for joining me. So I was going to do some more tests with this, the SPX100 antenna. I did have another one on order. Hasn't turned up. That was from 4x4CB. Ordered another one from Moonraker. That's out of stock, even though the website said it was in stock. And they're getting more stock mid-July or something. So I can either wait or just have a look for um, an antenna elsewhere. But I might just hang about. Maybe I shouldn't have put an antenna on a copper rod because it's proven quite hard to get hold of. Now, the only thing wrong with this antenna is where the connection is for the wonder lead, it's broken, the metal bit snapped off. So if you have a look, I don't know if you can see it, it snapped off in that hole there. These holes are fine, nothing in there, but in the end one here, that's what's happened, the metal bit snapped off, and you probably can't see that on the camera. So if you know how to get the metal bit out of there, all I'd do is order the wonder lead, that's why I'm not chucking this antenna. And then when the new antenna comes, I'll have a spare top section. They're normally going for about a tenner anyway, so I'm still going to keep it. But if you know how to get the metal bit out of this antenna, then uh, post it in the comments below. And all I'll do is all the wonder lead, and this antenna will be good to go again with a copper rod. So today we're going to have a look at this Shawcom SF401 Plus frequency counter. And it counts digital, it counts analog, it counts CTCSS, and it'll also count DCS. Now this has been loaned for me from my good friend Robert. Now I haven't got the original antenna with it, all I've got is the antenna I'm going to be using is my Yaesu uh, FT817 antenna for 2 and 70. So let's take a closer look at this Shawcom frequency counter. Okay, so here we have the Shawcom SF401 Plus frequency counter. Now it's been loaned to me by my good friend, The Cube. What well, good, good on you, Robert. I can say the C word now because I'm not on amateur radio. Now on eBay, they're going around about £45 upwards and they're coming from China. I've seen them 54, some people doing 64. Um, but they're yeah, sent to be roughly £45 and upwards. Now, he didn't give me the original antenna with it because he couldn't find it, so I'm going to be using my 2 and 70 off my FT817. Now, the unit itself has got four buttons on the front there, three white ones and a black one. Press and hold the black one, it powers the unit up. Press and hold it for 20 seconds or so, and it resets the unit. On top, you've got your attenuator, USB charger, and you've also got a BNC plug connection there for your antenna. We're going to test it with a variety of radios. We can test it with the Wushon. This is two and four meters. We can test it with the 18 watts you have right Bayer thing uh, radio. See if it picks up the DCS and CTCSS. We're going to also test it on the Anytone because it does count digital. So this thing will count analog, digital. It counts CTCSS. Also count DCS. Let's power the unit up. So cut the antenna. Press and hold the black button to power up the unit. And the power is on. You see on the screen there, we've got analog, you've got frequency, CTCSS and DCS. So let's key up on this four meter radio and uh, see if it finds the frequency. There we go, it's done it on that one. So frequency was we keyed up with 70, 450 megahertz, no CTCSS and no DCS. So let's try this 2 and 70 radio. And we're going to key up on 433 400 with a DCS tone. And there we go. It's picked up as 433401. You might find they pick it up as 399, 401, 402, etc. Um, but you get to know the rough idea of the frequency. And there's the DCS tone of 31. So let's put a CTCS tone in. And... Uh, See if it uh, pick up the CTCSS tone. So we're going to stick a CTCSS tone in of 79.7. And there we go. 433, four, four, three, four, 401, and 79.7 was the uh, CTCS tone. So that's worked on 77s, picking up the CTCSS tones and DCS tones. Let's try it with the Anytone radio. And we're currently sitting there on 433, 450, and we're in digital. So on the unit itself, press this button here. You see it now changes to digital. Let's give it a key up. And there we go, it's picked up as 433, 449. So yeah, 450, and no CTCSS, and no DCS. There we go, the Shawcom frequency counter. It counts digital, CTCSS, DCS, it'll also count analog, 
and we used it on a four meter radio, a two meter radio, which was and a 70 cent radio, which was supposed to be 18 watts, you have rights, the bad thing. And we used it on a digital radio. I'm sure it would have been better if I had the original antenna on the right on the uh, unit, but all I had was the 270 off my FT817. Yes, there are better units out there, such as the uh, Opto Scouts and stuff, and I did have an Opto Scout years ago. The Opto Scouts, I don't think, will count digital. Also got the Watson um, frequency counter, and when it uh, counts digital, all it does is just display random rubbish on the screen, and you'll see the bar graph go up and down on the screen. It won't actually display its frequency. But this was able to do the digital frequencies, the analog frequencies, and the CTCS DCS tones. If you found the video of some use, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, yeah, that other button will seem to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ73.